this is our 1982 three four this is our 1985 for four volvo 244 uh this car came to us in december last year uh as a derelict junkyard car i don't like to encourage buying more boxes because we have plenty but this one is actually like seemingly solid it is pretty <laughs> nice i did not want to buy this car the old lady said hey we should probably buy that car I looked at it, looked all around it, got up underneath of it, and turns out it's kind of a nice car. Now we've washed it, we've gone through it, put a carburetor on it, put some 17-inch Maverick wheels on it. We're trying to decide what to do with it. <laughs> Lawn care enthusiasts. Yeah, we don't make this up. How about we turbo it? Uh, we could turbo it. We do have the stuff to do the carbureted turbo stuff. Um, or we could 940 swap it. We could. We need a 940 turbo. Mm. Good news is, uh, we know a guy with a 940 turbo that I was supposed to buy about, uh, four years ago, and he's held it this long. Shout out Jason Schaefer. Thank you very much. Some of you noticed that the grill on this car has been swapped to a turbo grill only because it's in nicer shape than the grill that was on it. But the uh, old lady over there... She thinks this should be a turbo car now. So we need to go get said 940 turbo and make that a reality. Eventually we'll also have to do a conversion harness for this, which this engine needed an engine harness, which is why we put a carburetor on it. Two birds with one stone or something like that. Killing two stone birds or something? Yeah. So. yeah. Something about killing them stone birds. How do you kill a stone bird is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, uh, this shenanigan uh, is going to come out and we'll do something else with that motor because we got plenty of other cars that need motors anyway, so we can figure something out. Put it in a Miata and drive it across the country? Maybe. Hint, hint. Well, we got a 940 that's been sitting four years, so we got to go do a wheel run on that. Uh, but we need wheels and tires for it. And the wheels and tires on that car are 940 wheels and tires because 14 inch wheels won't clear ABS brake parts. We could, I don't think we can use the Maverick wheels and these wheels don't have any tread on them. All right, we got the old uh, 760 wheels on the guy here. Uh, if you haven't seen this car before, it's the one that's always sitting right there. It's a parts car, it's a flood car. It's in perpetual doom of being scrapped, but it's just too nice to let go. So it's it has saved a lot of other 240s, but it still runs. Yeah, this car was came to us last summer in a deal with some other parts, and well, it's here now still. Uh, I still don't know what we're gonna do with it. We cannot register this car. It's a flood title, it's salvage. We don't have the paperwork. We can't get the paperwork. It's not gonna happen. So what What would you do with a, a nice 240 if you can't do anything with the paperwork? Yeah, it runs good, still moves. Looks good with the these wheels on it. Of course, we needed the 940 wheels for uh, the 940 we're bringing home tomorrow because it's an ABS car. And if you know anything about 940s, the ABS stuff is bigger and blah, 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 blah. Blah. Let's put this back. All right, new day, new problem. Uh, we got tires and stuff. Might be overkill, uh, but we got the spares. Um, if you notice, it's raining. Yeah. This is your fault. Oh, I made it rain? Yeah, you made it rain. I'm Lil Wayne. I'm Lil Wayne out here. I gotta get pretty. Hold on. Okay, am I prettier now? Yes. All right. Uh, let's get in the truck and drive. Four and a half hours to go get another volvo should we drive it back Maybe. <clears throat> we'll see we'll see <laughs> we don't know that's the worst part about driving i miss the old lady the whole time you know i just that's rough <laughs> you guys get it i mean would you rather ride with her or sit alone in an old car things get a little too rough and we want to end it you know we got this which is good what? yeah if we don't got it now we ain't gonna have it when we get there you know that's true that's usually how it works. All right, let's ride. Just a whole lot of this for four hours. There's not really much to talk about because uh, we're going on the highway. We made it. We did. Safely. Somewhat safely. That is what we're here for. 
Well, there it is. Look what you've done. I did. Yes. Ta! Look at that. Dang old performance nice. machine. Yep. It's got a battery in there. Ooh. You got schmutz. This car here is a 92 940. Excuse me. This car here is a 92 940 turbo. Uh, this car I agreed to buy about four years ago, uh, and it's been sitting here on the farm, middle of nowhere, North Carolina. Uh, yeah, so shout out Jason Schaefer. I shout this guy out all the time. He's always helping the channel out. He sends me gifts and goodies all the time. Right, honey? True story. Yeah, true story, she says. The plan for this car is uh, we just drove four and a half hours to get here. We're going to chuck a battery in it, and now we're going to drive it four and a half hours home. Sounds like a solid plan. Solid plan, she says. It was red at some point. Now it's orange. Uh, it's a 92 B230 FT. May or may not be a squirter block. I don't really know. Um, it does have a chippable ECU. It may have already been chipped, if I remember correctly. Uh, black interior, all the goodies, uh, heated seats. But this car has been waiting patiently for the Dean of Machines YouTube channel to get off its ass, show up, and make it happen. I wonder if this battery's any good. It's not connected. We did bring a battery. Go ahead and stick it on there. Oh, well, it's got power. It's sparking. You want to try to start it? I can't put it on there. I really don't like that, the way that whole battery is in there. We have another battery that'll fit this better. Yeah. I'm getting water in my shoe. That's probably fine. Go ahead, turn the key. This will be the easiest will it run ever. I had to say it, huh? Turn the key. Give me a second. I'm giving you a minute. Start it, yeah, crank it. Stop, cycle the key on and off a couple times. Turn the key. You ready? Yep. Okay, turn, turn it again. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> we gonna get idle out of it? No. Go ahead, crank it again. <laughs> crank it. Okay, so, first thoughts. I think this thing, the idle isn't set correctly. There you go, look at the rod. Hold on a second. It's um, not idling for whatever reason. Go ahead, start it again. Okay. I was saying it's not idling correctly. But. Got a, a lot of oil in it. How does it smell? It smells oily. We got oil pressure? Um, no. We got 50 pounds oil pressure. The dash, the dash gauge doesn't work. Oh. That's a perfect car for a swap. Yeah. So let's let's not try to beat it up too much. No, I'm not beating it up. I just I look at it. We got oil out. 
up top. Oh yeah, we got oil up top. Yep, she's oiling. All right, cool. Well, that makes it easy. It's got a little bit of a knock to it. More than I'm used to. It's got fluid. All right, well, I guess we're gonna send it then. The uh, oil, oh yeah, it's got performance coil in it. Oh man, we're ready to do some burnouts. I guess, uh, do we have drive? Throw it in drive? Put your foot on the brake? Is the e-brake up? No. It's probably good that it's not. Drive? Put it in neutral. neutral. Quickly, don't leave it in park or reverse. There you Sorry, go. Sorry, I couldn't get the... That's fine. Right. Give it a little rev. Not bad. That sounds good. It's not smoking too bad. It's like condensation. It is very, very uh, foggy out today. Well, rainy. It's, it's downpouring rain. It's straight up pouring out, okay? Go ahead and throw it in drive. See if it'll move. Let's give it a little as bit of gas. Keep going. Drive it up to the mailboxes. Well, that makes it real easy. All right, do the wipers work? All right, <laughs> we'll just, uh, here, you can have that one back. I don't want that. You can have it. No. It's like spaghetti. No, thank you. Roll the back window down. We'll just, we'll just take that with us. Yeah, good, good to go. Let's uh, let's give it the old, you know. We got Rain-X and uh, towels in the truck, yes. so dri towels? yeah, drive it over onto the road next to the truck. You need a radio. Uh, we got you hooked up with the best I could do right now for clean windows. Actually, it's not it's not that bad. You can see it's good enough, right? It's good enough. Turn the lights off. Looks a whole lot better. Um, yeah, let's, uh, we'll get you a radio and we'll, uh, go put some gas in this thing. Next order of business is trying to get off this lawn without tearing it up. It is super wet. I think we can, we can manage through there. I'm always very careful of other people's property. Kind enough to let me drive up on it and steal their cars without supervision. There it goes. <laughs> uh, the tires are terrible, so we'll have to work on it. So we are stopping to get gas, and Dean said, take a second and tell you guys what I found. So uh, the wheels are definitely a little hoppy. They, uh, good thing we did bring some extras. The speedometer doesn't work. I'm not sure about the tack. We're out of gas. Luckily, we planned on getting some anyways, and the power steering is very, I don't know if it doesn't work or if it's just heavy. Uh, also, the brake light is on, but the brake is down, so we'll have to figure out what that's about. I'm feeling up the convoy with the old lady here. Look at the rainbows. Ugh. Car runs good. Um, yeah, it's, we gotta stop swap the tires out put some brake fluid in it drive home i think made it to the parts store get in the zone uh what do you think of the car so far it's uh it runs really good yeah the brakes leave a lot to be desired the power steering is 
very not great. Yeah, Pop the hood. not good. We'll take a look at that power steering, power stern pump. But honestly, it's a lot better than I thought it would be, considering how long it's been sitting. Yeah, it's pretty good. It looks good going down the road. It's too bad the paint is garbage. Yeah, I'm tempted to paint it. Custom wrap on it, maybe. Yeah, custom wrap. We got white. Now go ahead and open up that power stern pump. Oh, I'll do it. That's over here. Oh, it's in there. The fluid looks terrible. Maybe I just don't have enough. No, it's probably tired. Is it making noise? Is there a belt on it? Um, I haven't heard it making any noise. Is there a belt on it? Uh, yes, there's a belt on it. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Do you need something from I don't need anything, but if you grab the blades and the brake fluid, I'll get to swap the tires out and then we can get back on the road. Mm. Hey, you look great today, by the way. Don't forget to, uh, thank you. What? Don't forget to, um... Oh, change the battery. Yeah. yeah, we don't like that battery. It's unsafe. Is Though it? we do appreciate it and it's probably a great battery because who knows how long it's been sitting. I think it, this car was last driven or last started two years ago, mm. so... That might be a good battery to keep around, sure. if anything. But we'll put another one in it. We have the uh, battery from the uh, 940 I bought like three weeks ago for the wheels. Bought a blown up 940 because it had some cool wheels on it for 300 bucks. So a 92 940 automatic, heated seats, um, pretty gross. Has a good battery though. Uh, Blown motor, put a rod through the block, possibly Borbit Type A's, 15 inch, uh, tires are shot, car is shot, this thing is gross, but uh, I can use some parts and uh, then it goes to scrap. 92 and newer non-turbo Volvo 940s came from the factory with a 411 rear gear and a G80 locker. So I bought this car for the wheels, the locker, a bunch of random parts that other friends wanted. Uh, yeah, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Scrapped it and uh, made the purchase price back, thankfully. Oh yeah. Not bad for a first try. I don't think these are any good anymore. Might need a repacking or something. This is how to TDI swap your 940. Hey, look at that. Them tires, the ones we brought are not much better. I mean, who are we kidding? I think they're quite a bit better than that. Still dry ride a little bit. It's only uh, four and a half hours home. It'll probably be fine, right? Probably. probably. Look a little bit low, we'll top her up. Um, probably just needs to be driven a little bit because I noticed the rotors are quite a bit rusty. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, I'll be sure to drive it like the driver that I am. We can drive it around town and we can find something to eat. That's true. We just, I don't know if I can leave that park there in front of their dumpster, but I'll probably put in a dollar tree. Worst case scenario, we'll just abandon this on the side of the road. Nobody. Tires off. We can take a quick look under the car. Oh yeah, it looks like the underside of a car. Uh, brakes are here. All right, let's put the wheels on. Good to go. Yeah. All right. Now we've gotten rid of the hydras. We've got some eh tires instead of uh eh, tires. So the eh tires are gonna get us mostly home, I think. If it blows a tire, we'll just shove it on the trailer. I do have a spare, but you know, we'll see what happens is what I'm saying. And on the back, what? I think we missed something when we parked. What do you mean, what do we miss? We missed that sign right in front of the car. Working on vehicles in parking lot is prohibited. <laughs> no, good thing we're not working on it. We didn't do anything. Nope, nothing. Uh, just... <sighs> you are dirty. I'm a dirty man. This tire looks a little bit soft and also, uh, well... Threads are a little messed up on this lug nut. But, uh, you know what? 
If I won't hold it, for sure, for sure won't, or whatever. What do you think so far? Um, you know, <laughs> it is kind of dirty, but it's probably uh, cleaner than most of the cars we brought home this year. Hmm. Um, does it shift up there? It shifts all right. <clears throat> We're doing a burnout. <laughs> Oops. Uh, wipers, put wipers on it, it's pretty good. You know what we need to find? We need hmm. to find food some sort of food. Mm, I'm starving. <clears throat> the power steering is definitely heavy. Okay, so it's not just me. No, it's not just me. The brakes feel really good on it. Mm. This thing drives normally, which is weird. Mm -hmm. It's slow. Set it. Just make it boost. Look one, at the boost gauge. One thing that I noticed... Oh, wait. It doesn't, it doesn't like, it doesn't want to do a burnout. No. One thing I did notice is that it'll say it's in drive, but it's actually in neutral. So just be mindful of that. Uh, yeah, typical shifter bushings. That kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We got what? We got oil pressure, which is good. Oil pressure, that's positive. Boost gauge. I don't know, I think the gas gauge worked because we put fuel in it. Mm -hmm. And I got a full tank now, 76 degrees out. Speedometer doesn't work, tack does work, and our temp gauge works. So as far as I'm concerned, we're doing way better than we were last weekend where I went two hours with no gauges whatsoever. <laughs> so, I, I don't know. This feels pretty good. It's much better with the different tires on it. Yeah, it's not floppy. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's find, let's find something to eat. Here goes nothing. Uh... Quick stop for fuel in the old girl. Uh, this thing's sucking it down, but we only burned quarter tank in this. Uh, I will say it is a certified unit. I am so happy with this car. It drives so nice. Tires are still, eh, but they're, you know, they're holding it together. Eh, I'm a brave man, I know. I don't know if this popped. Oh yeah, it did. Smells a little hot. Um, I don't see anything leaking. Not much of anything anyway. Uh, yeah, it's doing pretty good. It's officially a certified unit, I'd say. Certified unit. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Definitely not upset with it. It's doing very good, trucking down the road. Handled the rain, no problem. Mm -hmm. The look good going down the road, like a high performance machine. No. <laughs> okay. Apparently the There we go. Oh, we're getting to Atlanta 
now we're three and a half hours in. Uh, yeah, really no complaints. Yep, good old Atlanta. Just uh, go ahead and join everybody else in traffic here. This is the Atlanta skyline. Uh, yeah, I rarely come down into the city just because I do not like sitting in traffic. So to those of you that commute to work and sit in traffic, good on ya, I guess. That was nice. Quick stop for a little bit of barbecue. Old lady went on to the house already. Uh, we're about a mile from the house. I'm proud of this little car. It does pretty good. It's quite comfortable too. Definitely a highway cruiser. Old girl made it home without a hiccup. Not one. Old tires and all. I am very pleased with this thing. Looks great amongst the horde. So what more do you want? If you want to support the channel, in the description there's a link to memberships. You can get access to exclusive content. Get access to our list of parts and cars. I want to thank all the new members. I want to thank all the new subscribers. I want to thank all of you for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. How about you get in your garage and fix something, huh? Have a good night.